Hi everyone, my name is Mrs Bhattacharya and I work in the Support for Learning department at Beclare Academy. I'm just going to take you through a short PowerPoint presentation on using GLOW to help you with Show My Homework and to support your home learning. So, let's get started. First thing to do is power your device on. Then go to Google Chrome. You may have some other search engines, but use Google Chrome it allows you to access a lot more information. Sometimes I have videos or emails or information sent from friends and from colleagues and I can't access them and I can't use them because I've not opened them up in Google Chrome. So if you don't have Google Chrome as your search engine, make sure you change it to Google Chrome. Then I want you to put into the bar GLOW, just the word GLOW. Now you'll have quite a few um, different um, GLOW will come up, quite a few different things for GLOW will come up. I want you to click on the one that says GLOW, sign in, RM Unify. Once you click on that, you'll see this GLOW sign in page. At the top, key in the letters ED. Doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase, that's ED. Then the numbers 025, that's the code for Beclare Academy. So ED025 then your name, the way that you would log in. Now it would be the first letter of your first name and then it will be your surname. For me, it's ED025I Bhattacharya. Now you will probably have a number that comes at the end of yours as well. So it will be first letter of your first name, your surname, and then a number, it might be 16, 17, 18, and it will be the year that you started at Beclare Academy. And then the at glow will automatically appear for you. Then I want you to type in your password. Now, if you've forgotten your password, don't worry. Just get someone else to email your guidance teacher and they'll be able to change it for you. If you don't know your guidance teacher's um, email address, if you contact the school office or email the school office, that will then get sent on and your email will be changed for you. Now, I always click the remember my username um, box just because it then helps, means I don't have to do that every time I go in. I then click the sign in. So once I've done that, it then takes me to my launch pad. And here I have launch pad. I also have app library here, and I also have management console. You won't have that, but that's where um, staff can change your username and make sure that you can log in. So in your launch pad, this button here is you. So I don't have much on this launch pad here. I can add tiles in, but I've never required to. But what I do then do is I go to the next button down, which is my home button. And this is Beclair Academy, Beclair Academy home button, and I've got lots of tiles here. Now you might not have as many as that, that's just because I've added quite a few in. First one we're going to click is this mail one here. So when you click on mail, that will open up into your mail. Now I've not opened up into my mail because there's quite a lot of private information in there. But once you click on your mail button, that'll take you to your emails. And that's emails you've sent, emails you've received. And the great thing here is you can email your homework to your teacher. So it's another way of communication with your friends and also with staff at school. Now click back up at the top to the launch pad. So you click back to the launch pad again. And then what you're going to do is we're going to go along to the tile that says show my homework. So click on show my homework. Now this has opened up into my show my homework, but it would open up into yours. And here you would have, if you go to your dashboard, you would have all of your different homework from your different teachers and your different subjects. Down on the left hand side here, you'll have all these tabs which give you lots more information. I've clicked the notice board and that just shows you any information for the whole school. We have a little message here from Mrs Morgan and down here is a booklet that I put on for everyone just helping with health and wellbeing, just giving some advice and support to everybody as you're working from home. So once you've looked at your homework, you can then access your homework. Now, if we come back out of here into the launch pad again, we're now going to go onto the tile that is Teams. Now, you may be a member of quite a lot of different subject teams where you may be meeting with your class teacher, you're able to share information. Now, this is my Teams here. Now, I'm going to click on the higher English one and when that opens up, I've got some information here that a team that I'm a member of. Now, if you go up to the top here, you've got lots of tabs. There's posts where teachers and pupils can post information. The next one is files where you have lots of different files and information. There's class notebook, assignments, grades. Then there's also for higher English, you've got men should weep. 
Jekyll and Hyde, Duffy. So there's lots and lots of different information to help you studying and working from home. If we click out of that back to the launch pad and we go to just the Microsoft Office button here. Now, Microsoft Office is quite an expensive piece of software and if you log into GLOW as an Eastern Bartonshire Council pupil, you have access to Microsoft Office and all of the software packages there completely free. So you can click on that, download it onto whichever device you're using and you have access to Excel, Word, um, PowerPoint and all the others that are available there as well. So if you click out of that, you can then go into another one, which is OneDrive. Now OneDrive, I'm going to show you a little bit because I find this the most useful and it's one that I use with all the pupils that access support for learning and I find it a fantastic tool. So if we click on the tile that is OneDrive, that then takes me into all of my files. Now I don't carry a pen drive with me because I keep everything in OneDrive. I can lose a pen drive and it can have quite sensitive and quite a lot of information on it and I don't want that um, to be lost. So I use OneDrive. So if you've got homework, you might start some work in class and you save it into OneDrive and then when you go home, you pick up any device, you log into Glow and you have access to all of your information there. You don't have to carry a pen drive with you, you automatically save it into OneDrive. So I made a little, um, just a little Word document called Cat in the Hat Quotes, my favourite author. So I'm just going to open that up and when I open that up, it opens up just like Word would normally open up. Now, if you go to the top bit here, you can just change the name of it. You can just whatever you want to. It automatically saves as well when you're using OneDrive, which is fantastic in case you forget to save things. Now, when you're in the home button, it's just the normal information that you would have in a normal Word document. But if you then go to view, you will have something called immersive reader, which appears. An immersive reader is another tool that I use in support for learning with a lot of my pupils. And this is a fantastic piece of software. And what this does is if you press it, it opens it up in a different view. Now this will then read the screen. If I was to press play at the bottom here, it would read the screen for me. On the right hand side, I also have an awful lot of other information. I can change the text size. I can change the grammar so I can look at adjectives, nouns, verbs. I can look and change the background color if I have visual stress. But the most useful thing is I can have the screen being read to me. So if you have just completed a piece of work and you're wanting to make sure that it makes sense, you can just finish it off, look, put, open it up in Immersive Reader and then get it played back to you. It's a really useful piece of um, kit. Now, if you're not using um, Immersive Reader and you're not doing everything in OneDrive, the another thing that you can do, and it works very like Ivona. Ivona is a piece of software that we have on all of the machines in um, Beclair Academy, and Ivona reads text. Now, this is another one called Word Talk. Now, Word Talk is created by Call Scotland, who are based at Edinburgh University. And you just, again, go to Google, type in the name Word Talk, and then you just follow the on-screen instructions and you download that. Word Talk again will read anything on the screen for you. You just hold the information and then you just press play in Word Talk and it automatically plays. So again, if you have got dyslexia or you are struggling to read a lot of information, Word Talk is another fantastic um, tool to use. Or you just save your work into Glow, into OneDrive and you open it up in Immersive Reader. So if you go back onto your launch pad in Glow and you go down to the, the button underneath your home, you have Eastern Bartonshire and then the little flag at the bottom is Scotland and you'll find some other tiles that might be useful for studying and for working there as well. So thank you very much for listening. Stay safe, take care and I hope you find some useful information. There. If there's anything at all that you need, please don't hesitate to contact anyone at the school. Contact your guidance teacher, contact myself and hopefully we'll get to see you again soon. Bye.